Hi guys, we miss you at Oya. Oh yeah. We've been trying to think of some ways that we can still stay connected while Oya is closed. So I thought it would be fun to do some photography lessons. For the first week of our lessons, I wanted to teach you about something called point of view. When you're taking photos, if you take it at a different point of view, it can change the way the photo looks. There are three main types of point of view. One of them is called bird's eye view, which is when you take a picture from up high so that you're looking down at your picture. Then there's eye level, which means getting down to the same level of whatever you're taking a picture of. The last one is called worm's eye view, which is when you get down really low and take a picture looking up. This photo is an example of bird's eye view. I climbed up the monkey bars to look down at the little boy, like a bird. For this picture, I wanted to be at eye level, so I got down low so that I was at the same height as the little boy. And this picture is taken from worm's eye view, which means I got down really low on the ground and looked up at Ethan as he was riding by on his scooter. Changing the point of view of your picture can make something look bigger or smaller than it is in real life. This week I went for a walk in the woods and I tried to challenge myself to take a picture of the same thing, but from three different points of view. I found a log covered in moss that I thought would make a good picture. So first, I stood up really tall over the log and took a picture looking down, like a bird, for bird's eye view. Then I got down low at the same level as the log and I took a picture from eye level. For my last picture, I got down really low on the ground, as low as I could go, and took a picture looking up at the log like a worm. I used my camera to take these pictures, but if you don't have a camera, that's okay. You can use a phone or a tablet. This week, my challenge for you is to go out in nature and find something that you'd like to take a picture of, and then try taking a picture from at least two different points of view. You can send in your photos to me, and I'll put them in next week's video, and you can also email me if you have any questions about photography. I'm excited to see all your pictures and to hear from you guys again. Bye!